Hey guys, she's crafty and stuff here. Today's video is going to be a room mirrored divider. So I got all of these great mirrors from the Dollar Tree. They are nine by 11 and a quarter inches. And they do come in an array of white, black, and silver. I happened to get all white just because I wasn't really sure what color I was going to spray paint them. But I like these because they do come with self hanging tools if you need to use them. I'm just gonna take off the mirrors and I'm going to remove every last one of them. This is a total of 20 mirrors. I went ahead and removed the glass because I'm going to be spraying each one in the color of silver. Foam board I did purchase from Hobby Lobby for $10. I did use a 40% off coupon and I got it for $5.99. I'll leave all the dimensions below for this foam board, but this is a really good foam board. It's a lot thicker than the ones from the Dollar Tree and I really was going to make just one solid full size standing mirror you know like just really one big huge mirror that was my intentions I'm going to be using this liquid nail uh, cement glue like this stuff is really good it's inexpensive I did get it from Walmart for two dollars and 47 cents and I just wanted something really strong that would give me a good bond along with that if you use hot glue that stuff doesn't stick forever and also if you use e6000 it's very pricey and you'll need quite a few tubes of e6000 if you decide to do something like this so the best thing to do is to get liquid nails and you only pay two dollars and 47 cents and one will do the job it dries pretty quick and it bonds pretty darn good I wanted to have a full length mirror, just one really huge wide mirror and I really wasn't sure of the design first. And I did do a couple of different things with this prior to the outcome, but I'm gonna skip all of that for this video because I wouldn't want it to be that long. But when you use the liquid nails, you wanna make sure that you press firmly down onto whatever surface you are applying it to. Foam board is really sturdy and thick. That's the reason why I chose to use it. You can use the ones from the Dollar Tree if you are going to do something like this and you want to use the ones from the Dollar Tree, I would highly suggest at least stacking three of them together just to get a much stronger hold. But you can always find coupons on the Hobby Lobby app or in store to get anything regular priced off 40%. So I just decided to take it into my dining room and use the table because it was a lot more comfortable. And I am using items just to put a little pressure onto the mirrors. That's the reason why you do see candles and other heavy objects that are sitting onto the mirror. This is just to lay them and allow them to sit. If I forgot to mention, the mirrors are already sprayed. I did actually forget to mention that. You probably can't really tell on camera, but I did spray paint them a silver color and I used the Rust-Oleum metallic silver. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do them black, gray, silver or gold and had I known I was going to use them as silver I would have just purchased all silver mirrors as these do come in black silver and white but I think this silver worked out a lot better versus the one that is already pre-painted from the Dollar Tree as it's more like a grayish dull color this had more like a mirrored look and this is what it looks like all finished this board is huge like I said these mirrors are nine by eleven and a quarter and I do have a total of 20 of them on this uh, foam board but as you guys seen the foam board was a little bit too big for the mirror so now I'm just going to be cutting the excess foam off of the sides and on the bottom with a um, straight razor I didn't really like it as one full size floor mirror so I decided to cut it in half now as you see this is the foam board on the back and it is really sturdy but I'm gonna be just gluing some extra on it because it doesn't hurt to be extra sturdy and I'm using this glue, which is the Well Bond. This is some really good glue. You can also purchase this from the Hobby Lobby store. Like I said, you can always use a 40% off coupon. This normally runs $10 at Hobby Lobby. There are smaller sizes, but I actually really do like this glue. It dries quick and it does hold a very, very good strong hold. So yeah, I would definitely suggest it. 
These are the boards from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to adhere them to the back of the board um, that I originally got from Hobby Lobby. And once again, I'm just putting some pressure onto it. Now, like I said, I ended up cutting the whole entire mirror in half because I just didn't like it as one huge wide full size mirror. It just really didn't look really good to me. So I decided to just cut them in half. Luckily I only made four rows and that was cool. Four rows was good because I was contemplating of just doing three rows. But four rows worked out because now I'm going to be making it into a room divider, a wardrobe or mirrored room divider. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to take some of this tape from the Dollar Tree, which is a heavy duty black tape. I like this. It's really strong. It reminds me of the Gorilla Tape. And I'm just going to place that in the middle where the two boards are, you know, welded. I just wanted this just for a little bit extra adhere, you know, just extra security. And I'm also going to be taking this blue tape from the Dollar Tree. This tape is great. You get a lot on a roll and it comes in color of orange and blue. I think this they, they call this film tape. I'm not really sure what film tape is, but it's very durable and strong. So I use this a lot in like a lot of my craft projects. Also going to do that on the trimmings right here. Now the reason why I have a measuring tape out is because I want to make sure that once I measure this I need to find my center for each of the boards because I'm going to be putting hinges on this and I did purchase four hinges and I want to make sure that they are placed properly so that is the reason why I'm measuring and seeing what the length is of the board so that way I can place each one of the hinges in the proper place and I'm just writing it down of how long the mirror is and I'm just dividing it by fours because, you know, I need four different spots. But when you do your measurements, make sure that you always find a center. That's really important. And I'm just marking on the board where I want to place the hinges at. But prior to that, as you guys know, I did um, secure some foam boards from the Dollar Tree on top of the one from the Hobby Lobby. I just wanted the back to be extra secure. It doesn't hurt to make it extra sturdy and extra, you know, secure. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm marking exactly where I'm going to put the hinges on each board. As you guys can see, the red marks. And these are really huge popsicle sticks. You can get these from Walmart. And this is where I'm going to place them at where I marked each spot on the board. The reason why I'm placing these really wide and huge popsicle sticks is because I just want a little extra security for my hinges. So I'm gonna be using that weld bond glue and I'm just gonna go ahead and tape and glue those down. The edges of the board are black taped also where I am placing these popsicle sticks. I also have placed some of the heavy duty black tape. I went ahead and did tape all the trimming of the boards, you know, because I do want it to look neat. I did let this sit for quite a few hours, basically overnight. And as you guys see, the black tape is at the edges, also on the side right here. This gives it a neater appearance. So as you see me here at the bottom, I'm just taping the black tape on the trimming like I'm showing you guys here. And I'm gonna take this Dollar Tree Christmas ribbon and I'm going to hot glue that onto the edges right here. Everything that I used was from the Dollar Tree except the first foam board which was from Hobby Lobby.
I'm just gonna take my glue gun and I'm going to take the glitter ribbon, which is, I do believe 12 feet or nine feet. And it's from the Dollar Tree. It's really sturdy and great. They have plenty of colors. They have blue, red, gold, silver. And you know, because it's Christmas time, you can get plenty of it. So stock up now. You don't have to use it for Christmas crafts, but you can use it for a load of things. And I'm just gonna take this hot glue and I'm just going to place this all onto the side of the mirror. This is also the reason why I tape the edges because it just makes it look neat and it also allows the ribbon to lay much flush to the surface. The hot glue that I'm using is a hot temperature glue gun and I did purchase that from Hobby Lobby. It is a cord to cordless hot glue gun. I know you guys do see the embellishments on the mirror um, and I will show you how I applied that in a second. First, I'm going to be using the diamond wrap, which is just scraps that I had cut from a huge sheet. Do save little scraps because I did make something else and I had like these pieces I had a bunch of these little pieces right here left in the same exact side so I put those aside for a later use and I'm just going to hot glue that over the glitter ribbon one thing that I don't like about hot glue guns is the, the, the spider webs now this is the border trim embellishments that I use. These also came from the Dollar Tree. I love these, I wrapped up on these. I think I have about probably like 30 sheets. They come in gold, silver, pink, and blue. I mainly go for the gold and silver colors. They make really good trimmings. They're self-adhesive and they are very strong adhesions. So you can get these from the Dollar Tree as well. And I'm just going to place them all throughout the mirror on all of the trimmings of each mirror person they look a lot better um, they have like a pearl in the middle and then they have like the jewel diamond look of surrounding it as for the gold ones the gold it's like a gold pearl and then you know so on but these are also available at the Dollar Tree and you get a nice size sheet and this is what it looks like without it being hinged together this is just it's separate and you can definitely leave it like this if you want to have just two float and floor mirrors you can leave it as is and you don't have to hinge it together. And I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like without it being hinged together. I think it looks really nice like this, depending where you set it up at. The trim on the border trim looks really nice on the mirrors on the edges. I think it gave it a really nice touch along with the diamond wrap. And I did make sure to just add this diamond wrap and the glitter trim ribbon all throughout the entire mirror on each side and on the top. I didn't put any on the bottom because that part would be on the floor and that would be useless. So now I'm going to show you guys how I hooked it together as hinge. These are the hinges that we picked up at the Home Depot and I'll leave the information below. The hinges did come with screws, but we wanted something that was a lot shorter. So these are big hinges. You wanna make sure that you have enough space so that way your divider will be able to open and close. And I'm just going to screw those in. I am going through the popsicle stick and the actual foam board. It's not at all touching the glass mirror. That's the reason why we swapped out the screws. And some of the popsicle sticks did crack as you see right there, but no worries, it doesn't take away from it and it still is holding really sturdy. 
and if you want to use a thicker piece of wood you can do so but this is what it looks like with all four of the hinges on and it's actually really a thick board and it's very sturdy you may be able to just not even use the actual popsicle sticks but i wanted to use something that was a lot more sturdier and this is what it looks like hinged together and it's foldable and it is a very nice weight to it and besides it is without the hinges so like i said you can do either or i think i liked it hinged together just because you know it's multi-purpose you can divide the room if you wanted to you can definitely change your clothing behind it if you wanted to and it folds in two directions I'm really liking the way that this came out, you guys. The pearled border trim stickers from the Dollar Tree really set it off. This is all items used from the Dollar Tree, except one huge foam board, which I'm pretty sure if you just stack three foam boards, you will be able to just get away with that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure that you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and leave your comments below and let me know what you think about this mirrored room divider. This is the opposite way. It's folded more inwards. So like I said, you can fold this in multiple ways. All the information for all the products that I use will be listed in the description box below. Thank you guys so much. And make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next DIY.